think it's so funny that Robert Pattinson is the new Batman and before the new Batman comes out, he's in a Nolan film, which Nolan made Batman relevant again. All worlds just collide. Tenet. This brand new 2020 film, which I did get to see tonight, me and five people in an IMAX screen for an early screening of the movie Tenet, probably my most anticipated film for the rest of the year. I mean, this year has just been awful. We all know that. And I just have been begging to see this one film. Christopher Nolan is an inspiring director to me as a young filmmaker who wants to make movies. Christopher Nolan is such a huge inspiration to me and what he has done for many movies. Like I said, I just actually reviewed all of Nolan's films this past summer with quarantine and everything. So, Going to this movie, I was very excited, very excited to see an IMAX tonight in an actual movie theater and get to experience this film in the biggest screen possible. This film stars John David Washington, Robert Pattinson, Elizabeth Debicki, and Kenneth Braha, and is about a secret agent who embarks on a dangerous, time-bending mission to prevent the start of World War III. So as I said, this is one of my most anticipated films of the rest of the year. And going in, I had my high hopes up here, but I tried to calm down because I didn't want to like just love the movie without even seeing it. And I can go ahead and start with this. Christopher Nolan is still a master behind the camera. He has crafted and he actually wrote this movie without his brother. Usually Jonathan Nolan writes movies with him, but this time it was just Nolan writing and directing. He has created such an amazing, ambitious movie with such a great universe that for two and a half hours, I was sucked into this world. I think Nolan has directed the best film, I think, to date. Yes, I know Inception and Dark Knight, but just directing this movie and having to edit this movie it is scary to think, as a young filmmaker, wanting to make films like this, like something just original, different, and how Nolan went at it at this movie, it's honestly, I would say, amazing. This is a film I would love to just sit down and study and learn what he did to create some of these action sequences, the story points, and like I said, the editing. The editing, it if it does not win or at least get nominated for best editing, that is a shame. The editing, I cannot process. It, I am mind blown of the editing in this movie. I don't want to be the editor for this movie. I, 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 I would refuse to edit this movie because of how hard it was. The editing in this movie is amazing, but it's so hard because I'm like, someone did this. And I imagine Nolan just sitting there doing this, like, put it there and there. And this needs to be here because this scene is this scene. And it's like, I'm amazed and scared at the same time. The score this time was done by Ludig Gorsman. I am sorry if I mess up that name. But usually Nolan does Hans Zimmer. And this time we got Ludig. I'm sorry if I screwed up that name. But he did uh, Black Panther. And he actually won the Oscar for Black Panther. The score for this movie is awesome. I love the score. This actually might be one of my fa new favorites for Nolan. I mean, for it, it, it is in your head. It is blowing through the speakers. And in IMAX 2, I mean, it puts you in the zone of intensity, excitement, scared them. Like, I mean, it really does put you into this, in the moment of the movie. The action sequences in this movie are out of this world amazing. First off, the practical effects are absolutely amazing. And seeing how, what they do with the editing and the time and how things go in reverse, I mean, it is, it, my jaw was just on the floor. Like, how did they do certain things in this movie? And the action scenes are big at times. I mean, big. I mean, there are some major things they do with practical planes and actually do with those planes. And I'm like, you did that, Nolan. You did that. Now, with the acting, I would say everyone in this movie acted very, very well. John David Washington, who actually does not have a character's name, is named protagonist. 
He is a superstar. I love John David Washington, even though he looks sounds and looks just like his dad, Denzel. In this movie, he is a great leading man. He has good funny lines. He's a badass. He does great fight scenes with his own physical mentality of it. I mean, John David Washington is a superstar, and this movie does prove that a lot. I really just really liked him in this movie. Even though, again, we don't know his name or anything. We don't know much about his character, but I will say he is a solid protagonist in his name. Robert Pattinson, he was good in this movie. He, he definitely was like the light heart of, of the two of them. He, he had more comedy and everything. He was likable. And again, it's just cool to see that he's going to be the future Batman and he's in a Nolan film. But Robert Pattinson was great. Elizabeth Debicki, she had a she was probably the most character with the most development. Her husband is played by Kenneth Branagh, who is our main villain in this movie, who is a great over the top villain and it works for this movie i mean he does a really good job seeing him go from little moments of evilness to just lambustious yelling and trying to kill some people i mean it works out very well and doesn't mess with the tone at all and elizabeth debecki her development and what her character goes through i actually thought she had the best development out of everyone in this entire film if i personally had any cons honestly it's just i need to see it again there is a lot thrown at you in this movie. There are major scenes where people are just talking about scientific stuff, dealing with time, reverse in time. This movie deals with time, and I'm talking, it, it feels real, but it, it's not. But the movie puts you in this universe, and Nolan does expect your audience to pay attention. And that is why I love Nolan so much. This is a big $200 million original film. I've never seen another film like this in my entire life and that is the biggest biggest compliment I can give to Nolan in this film. I've never seen it and I was so delved deep in this universe, this world, experiencing these characters go through it, the intense amazing action scenes, the score, Nolan's direction, the cinematography, everything in this movie really worked for me. It's just a big ambitious original film to where I think a second viewing and more can really help this movie especially for me. I will give Tenet a low A minus. If you do want to go to the movie theaters and do watch this movie in a theater please find the nearest IMAX, RPX, anything. Find the biggest screen you can. Watching it tonight in IMAX with four other critics behind me, I mean, it was hands down worth it. I know Corona and COVID, it's scary out there right now, guys, but I'm telling you, it is worth seeing this film on the big screen. Support this film, such an original big budget film from Nolan. Go and see it, guys. It is a must-see in a theater near you. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this early review, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everyone.